Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install MariaDB 11 version on Windows Server 2022. But the process is same on all Windows operating systems. First go to MariaDB site that is MariaDB.org. See the present stable version is this is the 11.4.2. Okay, click on download. See, select the MariaDB server version MariaDB server 11.4.2. And select the operating system windows select the architecture so we have only one then select the package type msi or zip file okay i'm going with msi file now click on download see download has been started go to download see the size is 74 to megabytes wait until download completes see download is completed now click on this msi file to install the mariadb click on it Click on next, select I accept the terms in the license agreement and click on next. It is going to install database instance, client programs, backup files, ID SQL and client CPA. Okay. Click on next. See this is the data location. If you want to change you can click on browse. Otherwise click on next. Now we have to provide the password or root. Then confirm the same. Remember this password we need to provide this password whenever we are going to connect enable access from remote machine yeah select it default character set data direct it's fine click on next this will be the name in the services and this is the port number double three zero six is the port number for mysql also and this will be the name in the service okay if you want to increase the buffer size you can increase also if you want to increase the page size but the default is 16 kb if you want to increase you can select them okay i'm not going to change any these default values later we can change then click on next see ready to install so click on install see installation has been completed click on finish if you go to services services dot MSC press same see we have the name MariaDB okay and its status is running and startup type is automatic if you want to stop you have to click on stop if you want to restart you have to click on this restart link again here we have the same or right click and select stop and or restart okay so now we will see how to connect to MariaDB start see here we have the MariaDB folder then click on MySQL client that is MariaDB click on it then provide the password that is the root password see we have successfully connected to MariaDB server version 11.4.2 MariaDB okay <laughs> let us verify again select version see we have installed MariaDB 11.4. If you want to see the list of the databases, give the show databases. See, we have these three, these four databases comes with installation of MariaDB. If you want to create a database, run the command create database to scores. We have successfully created. Again, verify show databases. See, new database after schools is successfully added. See, now we have, we have connected with command line tool. But if you want to connect MariaDB using GUI tools, we are going to show you two options. One, DBWare and another is MySQL Workbench. I have already installed DBWare on this machine. See here, I have installed Community Edition. I have kept the link in the video description how to install DBWare on Windows Server. You can go through it and install it. Click on DBWare. Now right click here and click on create and select connection or just click on this connection button that is new database connection click on it select MariaDB then click on next here MariaDB installed on local PC then provide the database name. so provide any database name I have R2 schools and port number is 
Give the name or account name is root, then provide the password. If you want to save the password, just save, then click on text connection. Then click on download the drivers for MariaDB. Click on download. So connection is success. Click on OK. Click on finish. Now expand this one. See expand databases. See we have the Arcus course. We can create databases from here also. Now right click on select the create new database. Then provide R2 admin. Then click on OK. See database is created. Now if you go to command line here also you can FI. Show databases. See new database R2 admin is created. The second GUI tool is MySQL Logbench. I don't have the MySQL Logbench. So install it by going to mysql.com. Click on downloads. Then click on MySQL community downloads. See here we have the MySQL Logbench. Click on it. Select the Windows. Then click on this download. MSI installer. Click on download. Click on no thanks. Just start my download. Download has been started. Go to downloads. Size is 42 megabytes. Click on it to install. We have successfully installed. Check this checkbox and click on finish to launch the MySQL workbench. Click on it. See this is the MySQL workbench console. Now click on this plus button to connect to MariaDB. Click on plus. Then provide the name MDB 11.4. Connection name can be anything. Connection method standard TCP IP. Host name you can give loopback IP or local host or machine name of this server. Okay. Port number 3306 or simply you can give local host. Port number 336. Username is root. Then click on store in vault for passwords. Click on it. Then provide the password. Then click on OK. If you want to select any of default schema or default database, you have to provide. Otherwise, click on test connection. See, connection warning, incompatible version. See, it is incompatible version. OK. Anyway, click on continue. See, connection is success. Click on OK. Click on OK. Click on it. Continue anyway. See, we have the R2 database or schema R2 schools. Right click here and click on create schema. Then give the name for the schema or name. Then click on apply. Again click on apply. It is done. Click on finish. Close this window. Okay. Database test is there. Even if you go here, right click on, right click on select refresh. See test database is there. Even you can get from the MySQL client or MariaDB client. See database test is there. Now we will see how to switch to author scores. Then creates tables. See now data before it was none. Now database name is author scores. Let us create a table. Create table student. We have created table. Let us verify show tables. See, we have only one table. Let us verify the data in this table. So let's start from. See, we don't have any data because it is newly created table. Let us insert some data into this table. Insert one more row. 
see if you give the same this number it will throw error because duplicate entry so we have to give non-existing data that means unique data for this s number column now it will work now verify the data see three rows are there okay even we can get that data right click then select the open sql console see we are going to perform actions on this database whatever the comments that i am going to run those will be applied on this art schools database okay let us verify data from here also from for that table student select all then click on this execute button see three rows are there okay in the same way we can perform the same actions you query tab then view the use R2 schools then from the select star from student select all and execute see data is displayed see if you right click on any table you have these options okay so in this video we have seen how to download and install MariaDB 11.4 on Windows Server 2022 but the process is same on all windows servers or desktop editions for more mariadb or mysql videos please subscribe my channel thank you